hello everyone today I'm making cream ones and um, I've switched on my oven it's 200 degrees Celsius and this is just shop bought pastry I didn't make any and this is one sheet and I've started already and I just wanted to show you the thinner you make your strips the smaller you're gonna get it and here is now an example of uh, the bigger strip um, it's about a centimeter and a bit. I don't have my ruler. I don't know where it is. And these horns I bought at Mr. Cheap here in Lansdowne. Very inexpensive. Okay, let's start. I'll just show you. Yeah, it's about a centimeter. Sharp knife. I floured my surface. And of course, I started already. And now you just pinch it there. Can you guys see? Okay. And I just go like that. If ever you're going to hear sounds here in the kitchen, it's going to be my washing machine. Because I don't like feel was hot. Anyways, and then you just go like that. You can roll it on directly but I have more control when I do this okay and you I just sprayed with a little cooking spray not too much because this is pure butter pastry now it's gonna slide off you can use just butter and lightly grease it okay look there another one okay let's do another one and you're gonna see now you make this all you need basically is your horns and you can look at other bakery shops or places that has it but I bought this at Mr. Cheap I bought it I think a couple of years ago yeah you can just pinch that closed and I just go for it and just relax this is Relax your hands, relax your fingers, and just go. And uh, what I can tell you is the pastry, it goes midway as you fold. Can you see? Midway. And uh, I do do a slight pull because I want the strip to stretch a bit. And you don't really, really want a puffy, puffy cream worn. You just want one to keep this shape. Okay. I'll just continue. And this goes into the oven. I'll tell you when it comes out exactly how, how many minutes. And uh, you have a choice. You can egg wash it. Or you don't have to and just use it, leave it so bleak, so white. I like to give it a slight egg wash because that also indicates to me when the pastry is done and it must turn a nice golden brown. Now this is for sweet but you can also make savory and when I make savory I fill it up with a cream cheese filling, uh, salmon, dough, um, whatever you like. Okay. Yeah, I bought this once a couple of years ago. Oh, you never forget y'all. That's the cooking spray. Okay, and just pinch it close a bit there. And I'm just going to continue and we'll be right back. Okay, now I'm just going to egg wash it a little bit. So gently, this is just to give it that nice golden color, also to indicate when it's done. Okay. And while this is in the oven, I'm going to whisk up some fresh cream, melt some chocolate, perhaps crush some nuts. Let's see what's here. I can decorate it. There's cherries and what, what. Okay, 
guys. Again, I forgot the shout outs. Hey, for Oh, a shout out to the Buddy Life. So I'm going to call you Buddy, eh? Hey? Because I don't know your name. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for your support. Love you guys so, so, so much. Means a lot, eh? I really appreciate it. And there we go. That goes into the oven. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to beat my whisk, my cream. This is a cup of cream, 250 ml. And whenever you use fresh cream, um, I always try to flavor it up. Just gives that difference, that nice taste to it. So that's a tablespoon of icing sugar and a dash of vanilla. That's the flavor. Makes all the difference when you make sweet treats with fresh cream. Okay, the wounds was in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes, as you can see. There we go. And what I do is I melt a slab of chocolate in the microwave for about one and a half minutes and I like to add some chocolate inside just at the bottom so there's a nice uh, chocolatey goodness surprise when you bite into it Put some more in be generous there we go and then I also dip it in now I like a lot of chocolate on my cream wounds. <laughs> Buy a chocolate. Okay. And now I'm also going to. You don't have to, this is optional. Where you dip it in some chopped pistachio nuts or any nuts you like. Okay. This is optional. Okay. See, and I just continue. I'll make some plain ones, ones with nuts, etc. And we'll be right back. Okay, so there was oopie, almost fell. There was some leftover chocolate, so I'm just gonna do some strawberry chocolate, chocolate dipped strawberries that can go with this. And the final step, I'm gonna pipe in the fresh cream. And then dust over some icing sugar and put a cherry on top. <laughs> yeah, absolutely amazing, eh? There we go. And I'll just continue with that. Okay guys, so I've started with a one. I've piped in some fresh cream and I put a small bit of glazed cherry on top. That's the plain one. And now I'm going to do the one with the pistachio nuts. Put some fresh cream in there. Remember, there is chocolate inside as well. And it just, nothing fancy. A piece of cherry on top. See, look at that. 
and we just continue and I'll be right back okay okay and the final touches is just a sprinkling dusting of icing sugar Yo. and now I'm gonna place it on my serving board there we go I'm gonna mix it one plain one not plain like that there we go I'm gonna And then, of course, the strawberries as well. A few strawberries. Oh, I don't even know which one to pick because strawberries are my favorite. There we go. Oopie, I missed. It's fine. And there it is. Your creamed horns, absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please go to my YouTube channel, Fatima Cider Cooks, and I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs> looky, looky. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yes, I must taste. I forgot. Take one from here. Mm. Oh yummy, that's so good, so so good, <sighs> bye everyone. <laughs>